Hi everyone, it's Arthur at Arthur Ease Your Mind here on YouTube and AuthorEaseYourMind.com. I'm an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. And thank you, thank you, thank you as always for stopping by, for the likes, the shares, the comments, even though I did have to remove a few this week. That's okay. We still love you. And the subscribers. And as you know, we're running a contest right now. I promised when I hit 4.5 thousand subscribers, thanks to you, that I would be giving away three free readings. Well, the contest is open until Friday, November 10th at 12 noon Pacific time. And the winners will be announced on Friday, December 10th, around three o'clock Pacific time. So enter, just hit the button. There's gonna be a link below and just follow that. It'll take you to a short video and just in the comment section, put your name and we'll take it from there. All right, so may the odds be in your favor, whatever that quote is. We also got our new guided meditation up, Awaken Intuition. Now, if you're trying to open up that third eye of yours, this one's for you. In the meantime, sorry for the delays. This is supposed to be Friday show, but it's now November 7th, Tuesday, election day. I think I was Trump with all these delays. But anyway, what I'm kicking up here is, and I'm, first of all, I'm taping the show before the polls close. Okay. But what I'm saying and what I'm getting is that Kentucky, Bashir is still going to get in. He's still going to be there. And as far as Ohio, the people will be heard when it comes to women's reproductive rights. Not the politicians, but the people, the voters. And people win. Okay. So moving on, I got a lot of the same questions about a lot of the same topics. So if I don't read your question individually, it doesn't mean I don't like you. It just means I'm reading topics. So first of all, the government shut down on November 17th. Will we shut down? I flipped a lot of cards in this one and flipped out many times trying to get answers. I'm still feeling the same that I got a couple of weeks ago, that there will not be a shutdown. 51%. It's close. That means 49%. They shut it down. But what I kept on getting was the fact that Mike Johnson, our new Speaker of the House, he doesn't want to have the first thing he does shut down the government. At the same time, MAGA Mike, who I actually called Mega Mike, and somebody asked me why, and I said, do you ever see the mega movies about a shark? That's what this guy is. He's a shark. He's condescending. He's anti-everything, unless you think like he does. And he's smug. And I don't trust him as far as I can throw my car. And believe me, I'm not athletic. So why do I say this? Because I feel he's, he'll, he'll get through. Yes, there'll be some little things they'll put on the bill to get through, but it won't be like what they did with aid for Israel to defund the IRS, basically. And also, they're, they're trying to defund the office of the vice president and the office of the White House. It's not a freedom caucus. It's an anti-freedom caucus, believe me. And... Mega Mega Mike, try that saying 10 times. Um, a lot of questions about him. Now, if you recall, the minute his name was released, 10 minutes after his name was released, I put on my community page that he's not going to last. I don't think he'd be a psychic to know this, but he's not going to last. And there's a scandal coming up, a big one. Now, just little creepy things that have been like being talked about, like the fact that he had an adopted son. He adopted a black son, technically, or he calls it adopted um, when he was 25 and the boy was 14. This is two years before he got married. I don't know about the optics, but 
That's all I'm going to say. Wouldn't you like to see some of these people's playlists? It'd be interesting what they watch. I wonder if you ever watch Mendingo. Sorry, entertainment purpose only. I can't believe I just said that out loud, but I did. And I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to bleep it. So entertainment purposes only. Now, the one thing when they put the original bill through, which was DOA, about taking money away from the IRS, which would only mean that by not having people working for the IRS, that they won't be finding ways to make more money and collect more money. And I find it interesting, like Wendy mentioned here, hi, Arthur, I would like to know what is with Mega Mike Johnson and his wife not having bank accounts? Well, maybe they don't want the IRS finding out. Personal opinion, just saying. But just, just don't listen to what he says. Watch what they do. Now, they don't give a hoot. And you thought it was the potty mouth psychic, right? They don't give a hoot about Israel or Ukraine. When they are using the lives of innocent people and children as bargaining chips, like with aid to Israel, they want to add stuff to it that won't even pass in Congress. This is the only way they think they can get it through. And also with the Ukraine stuff, they want to add that they will build, we have to buy, build a wall, finish Trump's wall. They couldn't do it the four years when Trump was president, but they expect to do it when Biden's president. Yeah. And then people wonder why my favorite spirit guide is Captain Morgan. A little bit of wine and Coke. So moving on. Again, scandal around Ma Mega Mike. George Santos. Yeah. Georgie Porgy. Isn't he precious? They did not expel him. But there's a reason for it. Even Democrats didn't, want, didn't expel him. Because the Ethics Committee is coming out with their findings on November 17th. Once there's something concrete, then something can be done about it or him. And I still feel by the end of this year, bye-bye. Yeah. I just wish we get our Christmas present early. That's all. But no, he's going to be gone. Georgie Porgy. And I've always said he's got to get the name, he's got to get the, the lyrics to When You're Good to Mama from Chicago. Because when you're good to mama, mama's good to you. In the meantime, moving on. Trump, that's all I have to say. I mean, the man is in decline. Talk about illusion and delusional. Just don't look at the polls. I mean, I'm sure it kept you up at night, if you're like me, when you saw those polls that have him beating Biden, especially in the swing states. I don't know who they poll. I don't know where they get these numbers from. I mean, I have a friend that works on a very famous TV show. And often they will put on their website polls. And when the producers don't like what they see, they change them to match what they want. Just saying. Him in the witness stand. I mean, he's a petulant little child getting yelled at by the judge. Now, Judge Chutkin did give in to his request for delay for, you know, to, for discovery and stuff like that. However, she's not going to change the date. It's still March. So 
it's not really a win for him. Also, when it comes to Judge Cannon and all the nonsense she's doing, and it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does matter. He's selling, well, giving away nuclear secrets or showing people. But the word selling kept on coming up when I did the reading on it. Again, entertainment purposes only. But she's going to be out of there, number one. Number two, we need to watch D.C. and Judge Chutkin, the adult in the room, because that is the most important case. The other one, let her delay it. Let it go down. But the first one is D.C. Now, everything when it comes to um, the fraud, they've only found them guilty. Now they're just talking to people to find out how much they're going to charge them. I mean, originally they're looking, the New York is looking for 20, what, 250,000, I'm sorry, $250 million. I think it's going to be twice that, like half a billion dollars that they'll owe. So let's look for the fundraiser for that. Yes, taking $5 from people that can barely afford to eat, but they send it to Trump. I don't get it. Anyway, it's a cult. 91 indictments. Charge of rape. Extramental affairs with porn star. Three times married. What Christian values are those? Just saying. I went to Catholic school. This is not what I was taught of Christian values. Besides that, he held the Bible upside down, if you recall, when he cleared out the crowd. Moving on. So don't worry about Trump. He's going down. The thing is, don't watch it every day. It's going to drive you nuts, like him. Okay? It's all talking points. It's all chatter. Everyone's saying, oh, he's not going to get in. Biden will. And I, that's my opinion too, as a psychic and individual. At the same time, that does not mean you can be complacent and sit on the couch and say, well, somebody else will vote for him. No, you got to vote for him. You want things to change? You have to change. And you have to get out there and vote. So there is change. So that when we get to 2025, the Democrats take over. And a lot of things will change. They call it the people's house. Once again, it will be the people's house. I'm not going to go on about Trump and you know the insurrectionists and how he's like, do you know he owns the copyright on that song? And he's making them play that copyright that he owns, that song, with people putting their hand over their heart during his rallies instead of the national anthem. Yeah. Now, well, I said the Congress is going to change some things, and they will, especially when it comes to things like Tommy Tuberville, little Tommy. Um, like, I got several questions. Like, they all are the same thing, but like sweet darling Lulu says, what will be done with Tuberville's blockade? It's getting ridiculous. Well, and then... Why isn't Chuck Schumer or any other Democrat senators putting heat on Tuberville? They are. People in his own party are getting angry with him. Now, last Thursday, on the 2nd, let me read this. The Senate confirmed three top military officers on Thursday, November 2nd, including the first female member of the Joint Chief of Staff. That's the way they got them through individually. At the same time, on Wednesday night, a group of Republican senators held the floor for more than four hours and called up 61 of the nominations for votes, praising each nominee for their military service and challenging the Alabama senator who lives in Florida, explain that one, to explain himself. But he showed no signs of letting up. Now this week, they're having a closed door meeting with him. So I'm just hoping, like I said last week with Marjorie Taylor Greene, my tragic girlfriend, that there would be a come to Jesus meeting and Jesus would bitch slap her 
Well, I think they're going to bitch slap him because one man is holding up our nation's military. It's nuts. And that's when I feel that there will be some changes coming up when the Republicans go bye-bye, some of them going to jail as insurrectionists. Now, I, I did get a question about Ron DeSantis and his lifts. You know, Trump is announcing, oh, he wears lifts. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm in Hollywood. Believe me, there are a lot of actors here. They wear lifts. So I'm not going to hold that against him. I just hold his record against him. Okay? He's not getting in people. And also, I did a show once where I, actually Linda's show, the very time, first show with her back in July, and I muttered under my breath, you have to be alive to be president, or you have to have the heart to die. Sorry, Tim, man. Well, I don't see him, I still don't see him crossing the finish line to be the nominee. Who? Well, it ain't going to be, I, I was asked specifically, if Trump was not in, would they replace him with Robert Kennedy Jr.? No. No. Or Glenn Youngkin or Brian Kemp. And I'm still saying no. When I pulled on it, and what I kept on getting was if Trump is not the nominee, it might be Nikki Haley. Might be. A close one. That's all I'm going to say. And while we're talking about Congress, Virgo in CYN asked about if Pete Buttigieg was going to be impeached. No. These people, like, they want sound bites, they want clickbait. But when it comes time to really do something, like we're going to impeach the president with no proof, yeah. And it just reminds me of all the times that Elaine Chow did all those press conferences every time there was a plane crash or train derailment and all that. Remember all those things that Elaine Chow did? Yeah, neither do I. Now, I was also asked, what is Putin's plan when it comes to Congress? Are they paid for? Well, and another question was actually, What's going to happen to Putin? Where is he? Well, we all know he had a heart attack or stroke or something. And I've said this on many shows that what I predict is that when we get to April 1st, it won't be an April Fool's joke. He's not going to be there. I'm not saying he's going to fall out of a window or be on a plane that explodes or but he does have a private train. One of my favorite movies is The Orient, Mirror on the Orient Express. Murder on the Orient Express, sorry. The first one, Lauren Bacall, not the second one. Anyway, just saying, I don't see me wrong. And as far as Ukraine, I still feel that within two years, they're part of NATO. So working backwards, that means the war's ended. Now, I don't want to get into the whole Israel Hamas thing because I'm not the best when it comes to the Middle East. And I did say that I felt around November 7th, which is today, that there'd be some type of ceasefire. Well, there hasn't been. So I'm wrong. But I still feel there will be a pause for humanitarian aid, which to me is like a ceasefire, not official. Okay. But it gives everyone a chance to get in there and help the people that needed to be helped. We're talking about women and children with no electricity, no water, no food. I mean, and they talk about being humanitarians. All right. Josephine asks a great question. I know it's a year away, but how does the election day of 2024 look? Will there be problems? Of course there will. But you know what? They'll all be overcome. The only people that are going to like 
try and sabotage everything Republicans. Ain't going to happen. But this is not the time to sit. This is the time to vote. I think I'm repeating myself, but there you go. And it really pisses me off when Fox News is saying that it's all Biden's fault with the Middle East, that there are no ambassadors. Well, they don't mention Ron Paul. He's the one that held every ambassadorship up that Biden wanted since July. So, yeah. Really good person. So, there you go. I know I rambled tonight. I apologize, but there's been a lot going on. And especially when you have a dump truck and all that stuff out your window for three, four days. You go nuts. So, bottom line, we're all in this together. We'll get through this together. The only way we're going to do it is to think light and love for everyone. Really. Don't go down to their level. You want to? Yes, I know. We all do. But still send them love and light, most benevolent outcomes, whatever you want to do. And put that white light or pink light or purple light into all those nooks and crannies around the world. Because there was a saying that a candle, a lit candle is brighter than the sun in a dark room. So send a lot of love and light so that these people get it right. They wake up. That's all we can do. So I hope it didn't ramble on too long. But I thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to enter the contest. And I'm on, I'll be on tomorrow night, Wednesday, with Cool Crone and her sister for the first time. And then Friday, the 10th, I'll be doing a show with Val at Dragonfly Crystals. So stop on by. Okay? So again, thanks everybody. Love you all. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. You guys mean the world to me. You really do. Like I said, I have no life. All right? All right. Bye-bye.